monitor. I'm not sure how this is all coming across. But I'm Cammie Chaos and this is Strange Love Live and this is my co-host for the evening, the lovely Megan Kate. Hi Internet. She likes to say hi to you, Internet. Hi Internet. So the original idea behind Strange Love well, well, I'm gonna take a step back. We've moved to location B and this particular segment of 30 Hour Day is being sponsored by Web Trends who are providing us with this lovely location B. Location B, as far as the camera can see, and then some more that way and that way as well. Didn't mean to wave my phone at you. That wasn't very polite of me. I apologize. <laughs> I know. I know. It, my manners. It's, it's been a frazzling kind of day. You're though. getting tired already. I am. I'm getting a little tired already. Yikes. So the original intention behind Strange of Light from 30 Hour Day was to do a behind the scenes at 30 Hour Day. Well. Hmm. Behind the scenes is that way, and behind the scenes is that way. Egal is pointing a camera at me right now, aside from him. the camera that's already pointed at us. Mm -hmm. And we've got volunteers. I think most of our volunteers are down in the square right now trying to clean up, so I think I've lost. I think, yeah, I think behind the scenes with 30 Hour Day is the four people over there. One, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. And me, who you roped into this. Somehow. I asked you to be my Ed. You're Ed McMahon. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I wanna take a step back. You're gonna be the guest instead of Ed. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. And this I'm gonna ask not planned. you, I'm gonna ask Thanks. you, Megan, what was your experience? You were, you were a key member of the last 30 hour day as well. Thank you. I didn't know that. Thank you. You I didn't know I was that you were assisting. I didn't know that was key, so that makes me feel good about myself. You were a key Thank member you. of the last 30-hour day. What can, let me take, what would I have done without you? Well, <laughs> um, I think perhaps your lipstick would go untouched. Yes. Um, your hair would be a little crinked from a ponytail. Okay, okay. Uh, you might wear the same outfit for like 10 hours. Uh-huh. Yeah. You would not have eaten delicious burger or cheeseburgers. I would not. We're, we're talking about, she, she's talking about this 30-hour day. Oh, I was, the last I one? I was thinking about the last one. These are all things that are true until the cheeseburger thing. Right. Last time I wouldn't have eaten it all. Yeah, probably not. Until my dad brought me a cheeseburger right. from Burgerville the next day. Oh, Burgerville, thank you. Um, yeah, Burgerville is a sponsor, so I feel free and happy. To say you are delicious. Burgerville is delicious. You were delicious, Burgerville. Yes. The last time, I don't know, you probably wouldn't have slept. I tried to shoo people away from you so you could I didn't sleep, sleep last time. I didn't sleep. But you wouldn't have even gotten a chance. No. Um, you would have had to interact with a lot more people. I didn't, I don't like that. I know you don't like talking to people, so I spent she, a lot of time telling people to leave immediately. Yeah, there was a dressing area, and she spent a lot of time telling people they weren't allowed there, and they didn't believe her. And she had to convince them. I and had to throw a couple elbows. You know and what then I mean? people weren't very nice to her. It happened. But that's what I'm willing to sacrifice for 30 hour day. Wow. Wow, Megan. So, you know, internet, I, I give. You know she what I mean? I can't not give. So Not for 30 hours straight. I mean, she's got to give for at least some of those 30 right. hours. It has to happen. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you would have laughed less. I didn't. I, that, that's certainly true. So those are things that I'm guessing. She's also very funny, Internet. Do you mind if I call you Internet? Is that a problem? Is that okay? Because I, I feel like we've gotten to that point. I do, that I've I call you by you your enough. first name. <laughs> Has the Internet used you at all? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit? It's a, we have a thing. Does, does it make you feel dirty? A little bit. A little bit? But we're kind of seeing each other, so it's okay. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we're kind of seeing each other. That's fair. Me and the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're my only guest. I think it's I mean, Megan <laughs> Kate for the evening. Strange of Live Kimmy with Megan Kate. Kimmy and Megan Kate time. I love it. I, I love like Kimmy and Megan Kate time. 
I love being in this proximity to you wearing boots. I know, we're both wearing boots. Um, I like touching your hair, which I just did before we got You're here. You're starting to sound a little creepy. A little, well. I'm just, it's okay with me. I'm okay I am with it. a little creepy. I don't mind it when you touch my hair. So, it's okay. Yeah. No, I'm really, I'm good with that. That's fine. But I like this web trend space a lot. It is a nice space, isn't it's it? It's a really nice space. It seems like it would be a good space to work in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems um, inviting, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. comfortable, mm -hmm. ergonomic. Well, it depends on, you know, it depends on, on how you set your keyboard up well, and your chair. I have not gone and touched all the, all the little cube spaces, so I guess I don't know exactly yeah. how ergonomic it is. But Yeah. It has, you know, black draping. Mm -hmm. And it has our lava lamp. It reminds me of the normal studio, but different. You know what we're going to do? What are we going to do We're going right to bring now? you over and you're going to be Ed. Oh, I'm so glad I'm off Come the hook. Ed. And we're going to bring Whitney on. Because just got here. Because Whitney's going to be one of our guests. And, and I know that she's somewhere she has to be. I actually just came from where I was supposed to be. Oh, well, to be. come on over anyway. So I've got all the time in the world. Have a seat. I think I'm mic'd. I'm going to be mic'd. You're getting mic'd. You don't have to mic yourself because we've got this mic. All right. So mic'd is taken care of. This, Hopefully this, that works. This brings it back to maybe a little bit more of the behind the scenes 30 hour day. So there's a lot of crap that happens. <laughs> and there's a lot of preparation that goes mm. into it. And a big, huge, giant, big, enormous part of that preparation is finding people to come and do stuff on camera. <laughs> Because I don't want to be the person on camera for 30 hours. It's tiring. You hate that. I've done enough. Uh, frankly, I've been on camera enough already for the other day. <laughs> I know. And I know. we're in hour what? Seven? I don't eight? even know where I am right now. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> what building are we? Are we in, are we in Portland still? Wait, this is hour six and a half, isn't it? No. We are in the I internet now. We are in the we internet. That's true. Oh, well, you know, I we could, have entered into the internet. I could check the, the iPhone app. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I could. I'm going to do that. This is so meta. I'm going to check the so iPhone app. <laughs> we have 23 hours and 48 minutes and 28 seconds left. Oh. That sounds that doable. That sounds like nothing. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's less than a whole regular day. Yeah. So, <laughs> so as I was saying, the booking of the content and the getting the people to come and do stuff on camera... I, I don't want to do that by myself. That's my job. I do that. I get people to come and do stuff. And I frankly didn't want to do it for the whole 30 hours. So in the beginning, I, I slapped a big portion of that off onto Morgan Sinkle. Mm. And I said, hey, Morgan, have a variety show and book a bunch of stuff for me. I just want as much content as you can get. You handle that. And she, stunning. But then there's this whole overnight stuff. <laughs> Nighttime. Oof, Nighttime. I didn't want to handle the whole overnight stuff. And, and so then all about the I morning, was talking so. to Whitney. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Whitney. Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Internet. Hi to Whitney. There we go. Hi to Whitney. <laughs> and Whitney said, I could, do, I could do three hours of content overnight. Yeah. And I said, oh, yay. Cool. So, Whitney, tell me, what was that, two weeks ago? Thereabouts. Yeah. How, how'd that go for you? How's that going? You it's, haven't had your segment yet. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, so we can't comment on it, but mm -hmm. it's Probably good. It's going to be awesome. It's been, it's been a fun challenge, yeah. finding people. It's actually been difficult expressing to people when this is actually happening. I'm like, it's on Friday night, <laughs> on Saturday morning at 2 a.m. Yeah. What does that mean? And nobody <laughs> understands. <laughs> They're like, what does it mean, 2 a.m.? That's the bars are closed. I don't understand what yes, that you means. Come here after. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. But it's a shifting lineup, like the lineup that I sent you. Not exactly the same, but it's fluid. Fluid. We yeah. are like water. We are yeah. like as to water. Yeah. And I something in the water. I made yes. her, I made her fit in ukulele lessons as well. Dun, 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 dun. Which is good because we all need to know how to play the ukulele. Yeah, I, I'm learning all sorts of stuff. I learned how to dance. To be stars. Today. Yeah. If we want to be stars, we have to know how to play the ukulele. That's true, because all stars play the ukulele. It's yeah. like the step between White mm -hmm. Dwarf and Supernova is oh, the ukulele yeah, playing ukulele star. Playing. Mm -hmm. So let me we look around here. And uh, so I'm thinking that we would probably just play the ukuleles here on the couches <laughs> because I'm lazy and I would yes. curl up on the couch and stay. Uh, but you need to tell me where you envision your stuff going because pretty much this. Yeah, this is it. These two areas are where we can film, so cool. we can we can move from this couch area and you can have it. But you've got the green screen over there, and then you've got this area over here. So you tell me what what do you think you're gonna? I think we can play a little Carson kind of setup here, like have comedians go yeah. up there, do their set, and yeah. then like because of to stretch the content, yes. it'd be good to stretch because yes. yes. we're like gold. Yes. 
we get more valuables, we're stretched, like Armstrong as mm -hmm. we are. And so, <laughs> so then we'll do their sets and then come over here and we'll banter. Mm -hmm. and Only bring them over if they're good. Well, they're all good. Yeah, they're all See? Quality. There we go. I set you up for <laughs> That's a good setup. That's what I do. Good one. I appreciate it. That's why she's my Ed. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Yeah. I'm excited for, I'm excited. You don't get to be here. I'm not going to be here, but you know what? <laughs> I'm probably not going to sleep, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to stream it. That's nice. Good. I'm going to fall asleep nice. streaming it. And That's I'm fantastic. And I hear your voices in my head. It's Sweet so streams. Yes. Messed up I'm going to have some awesome dreams. Stream dreams. And then I'll yeah. be back here at 8 a.m. Stream, yeah. stream, stream, stream. I'm excited. Stream. Oh, I was going to harmonize. I was going to oh, come sorry. in with the... Okay. No, we're done. We're done? So, so... <laughs> that we booked, and by we I mean Whitney. It's the royal we. <laughs> we. And to be fair, I asked Whitney. Right, you delegated. That's what delegating yes, is. That's a beautiful thing. I'm an excellent so. delegator. Mm -hmm. So the people that were booked, are these all people that you know? Because the, the, we can talk about the booming comedy scene in Portland. Because it is booming. It it's, is. It's exploding. It totally is. It's amazing. And we already had, we had, uh, we had Big Scotty. Nice. Down at the Rogers. scare, at the scare, at the scare. Well, he was a little scary. In <laughs> but uh, so we had Scott down at the at the square tonight, and we'll have you and Virginia down at the square tomorrow. Yes. And some other people other, too. Yeah. Let's see who's going to be there. I can't remember. I think Gabe Dinger's going to be there. Kristen yeah. Ricketts, Stacy Howell. Howell. I say her name wrong all the time. It's bad news. Howell. Is that why it's just Bob and, and Stacy? Bob and Stacy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and Bob Ladewig. They have they have fantastic last names. Fantastically so unpronounceable last names. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So are Facebook these, last names. Are these all people that you work with? Yes, in yes. various capacities. Mm -hmm. Like, because Bob and Stacy run Curious Comedy, mm -hmm. and so I'm there mm -hmm. a lot, and I love them. They're good people. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I've done improv classes there. I do stand up around town, and so I'll book people. Like, I've booked most of the people that I'm bringing on. I've had them on other shows that I've booked. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, and we hang out open mics like all the time. Yes, yeah. I saw you last night. Oh yes. Oh, uh, because yeah. they I had the Seven my Planet picture yeah, show after last Seven night. Planet. Nice. I stayed um, because I'm gonna start open mics in August. And awesome. So I'm around. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Stop yeah. it. Um, so I've been poking around, but I've seen you a bunch of times because I'm friends with Scott and I met you at some open mics. Um, so I'm gonna creepily remind you of that. <laughs> you I know you. Remember I know me. you. I know where you sleep. Um, but yeah, but I stayed around last night. Well, great. Just be careful because at you. some point she'll be like, I really like touching your hair. <laughs> it's so short now. I'm you have really to get right up close to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we've established how yeah. creepy I am so far That's in this good. whole. That way it's no surprise to anyone that it's <sighs> not creepy ag ever again. Okay, don't taunt <laughs> See, me. Stalking is only creepy no, the first okay. time you admit it, and go. then it's just okay, I'm then saying, it's yeah. just all like right. love. Then it's just love. It's all love. So I saw something. I'm going to bring in Facebook content. You quit your day job. I did quit my day Yay. job. Did you quit your day job so that you can pursue this? Yes, actually. Not sitting on the couch at what friends. My goal is to ultimately day. sit on the couch and be paid for it. Yeah. Like when that happens, that's I will have achieved. I, I have a little attained the goal. That's like, what I want to do: sit right. on the couch and get paid for it. It's solid. Yeah, I'll because I mean, come on over, sit on the couch with me. You, know, yeah. you sit on the. I'll pay you. I have so much money. I'll pay yeah, you. Exactly. Just I'll just sit on my couch. Funnel it through. The money comes in to me and out to <laughs> everyone else. It's genius. <laughs> as long as there's enough to pay style. the bills. I want to yeah. be on your couch. Good. Yeah. See, now I'm creepy. Think about that. <laughs> now I'm designing couches We're for pretty ladies. <laughs> <laughs> We're evenly matched. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I feel like I'm in a creepy sandwich. <laughs> Let's make oh. a sandwich. Oh. <laughs> creepy, creepy sandwich. <laughs> so you quit your day job to pursue your love of comedy? Yes. I just... I, I wrote and edited textbooks online for mm -hmm. a really good company. Like, uh -huh. they're really good people. It wasn't like, I was like, oh, these people are terrible. I can't work with them anymore. I just, like, I was supposed to write this lesson about settling the frontier. And I was like, I can't write another bad joke about America. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it again. So I had to write my own jokes. And I, like, I physically couldn't write the lesson. Like, I could not yeah. do it. And I'm like, I'm not going to continue to take your money for a job I cannot do. Yeah. So I'll take other people's money. So you're ethical. I'm trying. I'm concerned about you succeeding in comedy. <laughs> Ah, we'll see. I'm it's, this is a bold new frontier we've got here. <laughs> it's a totally ethical comic. It's very exciting. Like you've read the ethical slut, ethical comic. Ethical slut, yes. ethical comic, ethical talk show host. Yeah. There's ethics. Oh, we're just littered in ethics. Wait, here, am people. I the ethical slut in this? <laughs> 
breaking all trade rules whenever we please. I think my parents are watching right now. We're ethical so. role players, too. So. She's the ethical personal assistant. <laughs> the EPA. <sighs> <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. You can be my EPA. <laughs> <laughs> you can be my EPA. To be honest, I just do 30 hour days so that I can say that Megan Kate is my personal assistant. Because <laughs> it's like, oh. I can be like, yeah, I have a personal assistant. Her name is Megan Kate if you met her. Mm-hmm. And so that she can say things like, oh my God, why am I in the same room as Cammy Chaos in her underwear? Because there's <laughs> nothing like, there's nothing more uplifting emotionally than to have someone say that and, and, and feel that they mean it. I definitely mean it. <laughs> I did not know that there was underwear-based content in the 30-hour day. There's we'll not. talk later. Oh, there's oh. not. Well, not this year. Only in yeah. When yeah, it stops being year. for charity. When it's <laughs> yeah, no, this, was, this is this a private podcast. Then we <laughs> yeah. This is the Megan Kate, please come tell me what I'm supposed to wear. <laughs> Best part of the gig. <laughs> That's the 69-hour weekend. That's the <laughs> next frontier. No! <laughs> numbers are allowed, right? We can say yes. Okay. Numbers are acceptable. Good. Well, good. And it's after 10. Yeah. Amen. The children are asleep. Yes. They should be. Well, if they're not asleep, then they're not children anymore. <laughs> well, good on you, Whitney. I'm, I'm really excited for you that you quit your job. Thank you. And I hope that one day I can do the same. Yeah. And that one yes. day I am as funny as you are. I hope that too. You are. Thank you. Very funny. Talented super sweet. lady. That's super sweet. It's true. I yeah. Well, you got to do it, and then and you're gonna have open mic, so that's gonna up your funny potential real In quick. August. We will see. That's yes. so soon. It's been improv for a year and. Nice. Once Roadhouse was done, I was kind of like... Oh, so you were in Roadhouse? Mm. I was so sad. I really, like, twice I tried to go see it. Like, I had tickets two times, and the first time I just couldn't make it at all. And the second yes. time, I was, like, across the bridge. Like, I was at the Rose Quarter Max train station, couldn't make it because it was the day of the Starlight Parade. Oh. And so it was all clogged. Like, I couldn't actually get to the play. I was super sad. So. Yes. So, Yeah. That's so stand up is my next frontier. Excellent. But anyway, the next big frontier. Nice that there's so many wonderful female stand ups in this town, and you are one of them. So good for you. Thank it's you. Very exciting. So, do you know what I'm going to have you do, Megan Kate? I'm going to continue to talk to, to Whitney here for a minute, and I'm going to get you to go and find me a 30 hour day volunteer to uh-huh. bring back on so okay. we can talk more about 30 hour day. That's what I do. Hold on. Yeah. Can I unclip this? You can unclip it. I know you can. Okay. There I am. So give us a little preview of what we have coming up for the slumber party, because otherwise these people, they might decide yes. to go to sleep. Chomedy. So we need sets. We, we need sets. Chomedy. Chomedy. Uh, stand up chomedy. This is sit down comedy. So. Yes. Okay. So should I do jokes that I have? No, no, no. What's just, the deal just, with who, hairline you know, fractures? Who do we have? What's going to be going on? Okay. Let's what, see. what was the process in booking a slumber party? It was kind of like throwing a slumber party in second grade, where I was like, I've got so many friends, they'll all come to my party. And then they're like, we can't come to your party, sorry, we've got other parties. But that's okay. There are, I know my true friends now. You know who they are. Yeah. And you guys know who you are. You didn't come to Whitney's party. Next time you will come to the party and you will enjoy it, and that will be my revenge. Yeah, and if you don't, then I'm going to thumb my nose at you. Do you bite your thumb? Like, do you bite your hangnail? No, sir. I bite my thumbnail at you. So, yeah, but what you do have? Oh, I got the good people. I got Ron Funches, who and Will. Who I'm Rose. really sorry. For some reason, I lost the N on the website, and you're actually Row now. Row Funches. Row if you wait Funches. That's great. That's actually, and I was trying to figure out earlier. Yeah, that'll be perfect. We'll bring her on in just a moment. Sorry, you, <laughs> you, you were a big part of it last time. If you want, you can have Megan Kate, you know, do your makeup or something. I don't, you've got a moment, but you look lovely. It's true. <laughs> good shirt, good good top, good bottom, good middle, good. I put I, I put all the hard workers to to work on camera as well. Good. Yeah. Behind the scenes is in front of the scenes. Yeah, I like that. Like, there's no false dichotomies here. No, the, well, this is supposed to be the behind the scenes episode of Stranger Live at Thirty Hour Day. Nice. I want my Thirty Hour Day people, and Robin was instrumental in the last Thirty Hour Day, and is the overnight volunteer coordinator this evening. Ooh. So we've got three hours. Yes, we've got three hours. Of funny. Three hours of funny. And and probably some tears because it's, it's two o'clock in the morning. Yes, tears and 
tears and pain and lots yeah. of puns, lots of puns. And do you know, so, and there's, there's some pillow fight segments. There are pillow fights that are promised. And but I you don't am, know anything about them. I am unclear on what exactly is supposed to be happening with the pillow fights. I know that I will bring pillows. That is my role. And right. I will bring people. And if they end up fighting. With the pillows. Then that is a pillow fight. And I know something about one of the pillow fight segments. Okay. I know, but I'm not going to tell that. Okay, shh, silencio. But I'll tell These you later in case you don't know. Okay, that's good. <laughs> In case you don't know. Okay. We will make it happen. Yeah. Whatever pillow fights happen will be epic. And yeah. and it will make it so slumber party-like. And then we'll do our nails awesome. and like oh <laughs> play truth or dare. And yeah. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I already did my whole like truth or dare stuff for the evening when I had to take dance lessons on air. Wow. So, yeah. How did that go? Um, it depends on which person you were that I was dancing with. <laughs> the <laughs> The guy that I had danced with for a while, I, I don't think it went well for the two of us. But then when I got to dance with my dance partner again, I, I, it was Jason Grigsby, I think it went really well because he was very confident in meeting me and I was able to then follow and dance. Um, and at, at some point I even stopped looking at my feet and then he taught me to waltz as well. Wow. Yes, so I learned how to waltz and how to swing dance this evening. That's fantastic. And I don't dance, so it, I think it, you well, know, you all things dance considered, it went well. Yes. Yeah. That's the way it is. All right, well, Whitney, I think we're going to let you go ahead and get ready for the rest of your evening. Prepared. Well, thank you for and having I'm gonna, me. I'm going to pull on. I know you don't want to, but you're going to do it. I will see you in a few hours. Cool. I will be back. <laughs> I'll be here. Uh, you'll know who I am because I'll be the one that wants to kill people from sleepiness. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll make sure that you only then, kill your desire to sleep. Oh, thank you, Whitney. <laughs> we'll see you soon. See ya. All right. I'm in this way. I'm just going to walk right in front of the camera because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hi, Cammie. How are you? I'm good. I slept most of the day. You're so lucky. I know lucky. you don't want to hear that, but... No, I do. <laughs> Here's the thing. There's one thing that we didn't... I didn't feel we did an adequate job of last time. It was making sure that everyone else was sleeping. Mm -hmm. We said out loud, we're the stupid people right. who get to stay up for 30 hours. Everyone else should sleep. Mm -hmm. But we didn't necessarily enforce that well, as well as we could have. And I kind of turned myself into one of the people to stay up the whole time you did. last time. You did. I think I had one nap, mm -hmm. and like early on Saturday, mm -hmm. I found this moment when I could go like kind of camp out in the corner, and I had like found a little blankie and curled up, and yeah. and um, that was kind of it. Yeah. And then I I was running around doing stuff like gathering food. Yeah. During before Friday before we started. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was I, think I, had, I think I had about two hours of sleep last time. It was very painful. So this time I'm just here for the, the graveyard This time. time I said we need so. two volunteer coordinators, one for all day and all day, and one for overnight. Mm -hmm. So we brought you in for And that was the crazy person who said, overnight? Yeah! Hey, <laughs> that's when the fun stuff yeah. happens. Only because I like pillow fights. And We're there's a particular me. person who's showing up who is going to get nailed by a pillow. Off camera, possibly, or on. Are well, Will Raddick? Uh, well, uh, well, Will, of course, but because yeah. Will and I can have a KJ fight because we're yeah, both KJs. So we'll be like, Rar. But Man, if we run out of, <laughs> I'm going to make sure we run out of content so we can have a KJ smackdown. There we go. There we go. No, I actually one of the comedians is a good friend of mine. We go way back. It's embarrassing how long we've known each other. Mm -hmm. Probably like about 18 years. Nice. So um, he's Very in trouble. Cool. You know everybody. Um, <laughs> Only one person that's well, Darryl, up tomorrow. There. And Dar yeah, actually, I'm excited because um, Daryl Lee is, I believe he's going on later than originally scheduled. I believe that's what um, he told me. He was talking to Morgan. He's on at, oh, this, I thought he was on at noon. Yeah. No, they changed. There was some thing with a band got swapped around. But oh, okay. what's exciting, it's good. That means that I can actually go home and sleep and then, and then come, back. come back and probably be Daryl's transportation because he lives right down the street from us. Yeah. He's like one of our best friends. Yes. And uh, so it's going to be... He's a neighborhood guy. Yeah. It's going to be great to see him. Yay, yep. Selwood. Represent. So, <laughs> so you like our strategy for making sure people sleep? Yes. Because last time it was kind of crazy. It was a little crazy. There were people I had to force sleep yeah. to. Yeah. Joe, who isn't here, who's watching right now. Hi, Joe. Hi, um, Joe. <laughs> I wish you were here. And I remember I was having fun with my dad. It was really hard to get Joe to sleep. Yeah, no, Joe didn't want to. Joe didn't ran around sleep. threatening yeah. other people and calling them to sleep. Mm -hmm. He threatened to take my phone away. <laughs> Nice. He got mad at me because I wasn't sleeping. That's not a good. Lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. A <laughs> lot. And I knew it wouldn't hurt me, so I just ignored him. Which is the hazard of being a big giant teddy bear. Right. Because, you know, 
I'm going to miss him, though. He's a sweetie. He's not going to do anything to me. He's just going to tell me to go to sleep. <laughs> Jeez. He, you know, he moved to the same city that my dad and mom I in. heard that. That's yeah. kind of amazing. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. He was a pretty amazing volunteer last time. He, he was, was great. An absolute There's some great people. We, had, we so, have got some amazing people this time yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's exciting. So, so. this time... It, we we brought you in. It, we, you know, last time we brought you in two weeks before. We we're like, mm-hmm. do a whole bunch of work, right? Now. Right. This time we brought you in a week before. I know. Ish, and said, yeah. do a little. Yeah, Just and get some I kind of appreciate that because I've been kind of busy and. Yeah. So. We let you slack off for a while. You knew, you knew we were going to ask <laughs> I know. you. I know. I was waiting for the 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 email or the text or whatever. Yeah. It's like, okay, when's it going to happen? I'm watching when a countdown. It, I'm like, it, oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Otherwise, I would have felt like horribly rejected and oh, no. miserable and pouty and stuff. We so. just weren't ready for you yet. <laughs> so what I want you to do, what is what uh, what has it taken this time? What have you had to do this time for thirty hour day? Um, mainly just um, send out a lot of messages to people and say, hey, come volunteer. This is awesome. We had fun last time. Mm-hmm. Join us. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it was a little trickier this time because it's Fourth of July weekend, so a yeah. lot of people were on vacation or otherwise just you know busy with families and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I think I got more, um, you know, there was, was more like casting a wider net. And, yeah. But we got some good people coming in, yeah. and uh, Kelly was doing that too. So we've kind of between the two of us mm-hmm. got um, so got the day shift and the night number shift. stuff. Yeah, number of people in so. That was pretty much it this time, which was a lot less than what I did last time. Yeah, last time you kind of run over. It was kind of crazy. So yeah. we are we are thirty minutes into your twelve hour shift. Huh. How are you feeling? I'm fine, you know, because I slept a lot during the day, and I decided not to have any coffee all day long, and so I just had my first cup of coffee for the wow. entire day, like, about 15 minutes ago. Wow. Um, and I brought myself a nice, big, yummy dark chocolate bar and some ginger candy, and um, I understand Justin just went and got us some snacks, which is awesome. Thank you. Thank so, you, Justin. Woo-hoo. So, I think... Um, yeah. I'm doing okay. In the morning, I hear there's going to be breakfast. Yes, yes. One of the fabulous volunteers contacted me and said, you know, I can't do a shift, but could I bring you guys a bunch of food at about 6 o'clock in the morning? I'm like, are you kidding? Do you have to ask? <laughs> I'm like, of he course you can. Oh, so, please. yes, we will please, be please. having um, baked goods and fruit and yogurt nice. delivered to us at 6 o'clock in the morning That's absolutely by the fantastic. lovely Paula, who I am so happy okay. about. So. Thank you, Paula. Yay. Who was recently a guest on Crazy Talk. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, Robin, I'm going to let you go ahead and give okay. your volunteers duty stuff, volunteering yeah. stuff I see one of them is hard at work making himself a cup of coffee, which is a good thing to do right now because he'll need it later. Yes, so. you know, is he here for the whole night? <laughs> um, Jacob is here for a while, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. drink that coffee. You're going to yeah. need it. Chug it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do right. something that no one... No, I, just not gonna but I want you to just go around mm-hmm. and while you're there just shove you gallo I'm way. on it thanks okay. Robin <laughs> thank you you can hide behind your camera you go <laughs> <laughs> oh you're not gonna bring your camera on <laughs> <laughs> and you would just talk long enough that you'd be trapped there and you wouldn't be able to say no you know the ambient mic will pick oh. everything up hi you go hello how's it going good how are you good when did you get here? Recently. Recently? Yeah, just the, set up. I had a long day at work. but You're the uh, overnight photographer, up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you were volunteering this morning? Actually, no. Oh, you didn't? You no. got off the hook? Yeah, I did. Lucky you. Yeah. You got off the hook last night as well. Yeah, he was trying to volunteer last night. Someone beat him to the, some, literally someone beat him to it, and he damned me asking, where do I need to be? And I was like, oh, no, you're off the hook. <laughs> Sorry, you're just going to have to help later. So, you got what capacity are you volunteering? So, uh, this time and last time I was doing photography, mm-hmm. and it was a whole lot of fun because there was all this great entertainment, real neat people, great music, mm-hmm. uh, live artists, interesting interviews, and I got to a uh, first row seat, really, getting really neat photos of everything. So it was a whole lot of fun just exploring, you know, trying to figure out how to get a good picture of the person mm-hmm. and, and their energy and enthusiasm. Yeah. So it was really great. 
And we were a little bit more organized about it this time. We actually got Aaron Hockley to be the, the photography coordinator. He did a great job. Yeah? Uh, roped in multiple people, figured out a schedule, who was going to be taking photos when, made all sorts of suggestions on, uh, you know, how to, the workflow. Yeah. Um, he's published it online on his blog, mm -hmm. uh, Hockley Photography. Uh, describing some of the workflow that worked really well last time. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to using some of that this time as well. Yeah, because last time you guys were just all kind of running around doing whatever you're doing when you were doing it. Mm -hmm. And this time, we learned some lessons last <laughs> time, didn't we? Yes. So you started at 10, and you're here until 10? Something that like true? that, yes. Crazy. But the slumber party should be awesome. I hope so. It should be funny and awesome. There should be stuff happening and things. And then I'll catch up with you also at the very end. Very cool. So. Alright, well, I'm not going to make you sit here for it's okay. much longer, but I really appreciate you coming. Sure. I really appreciate all the volunteer work that you've done and the posts that you put up, and thank you so much. Sure, my thank pleasure. You. Thank Thanks, you. Kami. Mm -hmm. um, look, now I'm all alone, and Megan Kate has left me, and Kelly hasn't figured out that she's supposed to be a guest on the show yet, and the zombie people are scaring me with the stuff that they've brought in. <laughs> Kelly, what are you doing? You can't walk in front of the camera. I'm bossing. Well, you're supposed to come sit. Robin's supposed to boss now. Oh. Yeah, it's you're, It's no longer your time to boss. I, see what I have to do? This is the thing. I'm, I'm the on-air cami, but I also have to boss the people that are bossing because I'm the one that knows the whole schedule. And the whole schedule is at some point Kelly goes home to sleep around Thank you, babe. I didn't know you were actually having me on. I told you. I told you earlier. Yeah, I, saw, I thought you were kidding. How's this? Dead down. Leave it. It's fine. Come sit. Good. I think it's a little big. Yeah, it's raining early. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Everybody, this is Verso. Kelly, who you've probably seen on the show time and time again, and she's what <laughs> heard at least. Or heard. She's our other volunteer coordinator. She's our daytime volunteer. And by daytime, I mean before <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. And after 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, she's our daytime volunteer coordinator. So if you're volunteering and you're watching and you're getting ready for what you should expect tomorrow, expect Kelly to boss you around and to do it very effectively. <laughs> oh, we're boots. These are not boots, boots today, no. no. Just big shoes. So what did you do last time with your day? day? I ran around like a crazy person did. and did not sleep. No, and despite our best efforts to get you to No, and I did lay down quietly yeah. by myself, but yeah. yeah, it didn't work. No. Um, coordinated dinner, coordinated mm -hmm. breakfast, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. coordinated uh, snack time, because mm -hmm. you needed snack time. I always need snack time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, bossed other people. Yeah. Coordinated um, water consumption, coffee consumption. Yeah. Caffeine is key to an event like this. It is key. You know, for the first, uh, you know, for the first six hours or so, caffeine's not so important. But once you hit that ten o'clock, and people realize it's not that people are so tired at ten, it's that people realize at ten o'clock I'm going to be up all night, and then they start to freak out a little bit. Yeah. That moment when you realize you kind of have to hunker down and. Yeah. And yeah. I don't drink coffee, and that makes it a little bit difficult for me. Yeah. Maybe I should start. You could. That's no happened one, at my house no recently. No one wants me to start drinking coffee. Trust me. If you I ever do, see me on coffee... I do as a spectator. Well, do you really want me to do it at 30-hour day? I kind of do. No. What? Well, the whole point of being a spectator is the spectacle. I understand What could that. be a greater spectacle? Than cami on caffeine? Exactly. Lots of things could be a greater spectacle than cami on caffeine. Like what? Cami without lunch? We've seen that. Oh, yeah. We don't want to see that again. <laughs> Raise your hand if you want to see cami without lunch. Yeah. Not no. not one. Not one. No, no. there's not a, because it's not no. it's not pretty. Yeah. No I learned my sorry. lesson. I eat dinner tonight. That's awesome. I will eat breakfast in the morning. I'm glad. I will eat lunch twice tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah, because we are yeah. having lunch twice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like eleven and two. I'm not sure how that works, but we're having we're having lunch twice tomorrow and everyone right. can just deal with it. And I heard that we had there were cookies today. There are delicious um yes. Are there more of them? There are enough that they are in the kitchen. Yeah, there were cookies down at the square, and there are more cookies. We have sponsors. It's like for brownies and, and bar things, it's and like they a, are. It's like a coconut chocolate chip, salty bar. It's a little thing of slice of heaven, is what it yeah, is. Yeah, it was yes. delicious. And they were homemade delicious. by one of our fabulous volunteers. Yes. 
who's amazing. So what's the big the big difference is you had a lot less work to do this time, yeah? Yes. See, that was by design. That was excellent. Also, when we're done here, you have to go home. That too. To where you live. I do. And yeah. sleep. Yeah. I mean, I can't really dictate what you do once we get in the house. <laughs> but, I, but I do have to stay there. But I can tell you that you have to go there and sleep. Yeah. Which and, will happen. Yeah, and stay the night. And it will be lovely. And not come back until tomorrow. Bright and early tomorrow. Is that... Am I clear? Oh, yeah. Have I made myself clear? Crystal. Do you understand? I do. Are you sure? Reasonably. Okay. So tell them all what it's like behind the scenes at 30 hour day. Um... Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of things. Sometimes it's very crazy. Sometimes it's a little bit slow once you've got everything where you need it to be and everything is working like it should and, and uh, whatever the current catastrophe is has been averted in some fashion, then it really just sort of becomes like you have a moment to sort of enjoy the thing that you've been working on so hard. And so it's really nice. Like once you've got everything ready for the band and the band starts to play, then you get a moment to actually enjoy listening to the band. And so for me, because I'm coordinating and, and trying to do a lot of stuff at once, every so often I have a moment where I realize I've got, you know, as I'm like going through, my he going through in my head all of the people and where are they and what are they doing and how are all these things working and did I get everybody where they needed to be and is everything covered? And then I realize like I have all these people as resources, people who all just showed up and came down to give yeah. their time and they're not doing it for fame and they're not doing it for for glory or money or chicks or dudes or you know whatever so speaking of money though we should mention that this is still a charity drive it is and that right now the money that uh, you donate would be going to the uh red cross i believe it goes to the are we at red cross yeah, right now the oregon trail chapter of the american red cross and you can go to 30hourday.org 30hourday.org and there will be a little place for you to click and go over to Facebook um, to Causes, which is accepting all the donations for us so that it, uh, it goes straight to the charities that you're donating to, and you can make sure to get your tax deduction. deduction. Yes. Uh, I'm starting to slur my speech already. I might it's be okay. getting tired. It's okay. I might be getting tired. I love how I start to talk about that and heads pop up out of booze. What? 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 Yeah. You should see it, but you can't because this is pointed over here, <laughs> not over there, which is actually where the behind the scenes part is. Yes. I'm just saying that that's the way things work. But I would, I would like to also point out that we have a lot of people volunteering and yes. all of these people are just giving their time mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily to get something out of it. They're just doing it to help someone, whether it's help a friend yeah. or I really like the Red Cross or, you know, the Oregon Food Bank, yeah. you know, I know is a wonderful charity or pair help me personally, yeah. all those kinds of things. And it's really nice to have... It's really nice to have people like that in, in the community. And it for is. me, that's one of the really nice things about being in Portland. That's part of why I never really want to leave. It's part of the reason we're able to do something like that. Yeah. We couldn't do this in a lot of other communities. Yeah, and, and, and it, I mean, and without knowing people that we know and knowing people who are willing to give their time and give of themselves in whatever way that may be, yeah. whether it's making delicious treats or making a call so that we have enough coffee or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, Knowing someone who's willing to donate overnight space for the cause, you know, Thank cause. You Web the sponsor for this hour is Web Trends, yes. who's provided this wonderful location for Donated us. to the cause, cause we needed some place to be overnight. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's it's really nice to know people who are so ready to help and just yes. w and you know say the word and tell them when and where to be and you will always find people there and it's one of the things for me that's really nice about Portland because let's be honest in a day most people come across an awful lot of jerks yeah. and so to know I can balance that with all the people that are here all the people that are volunteering tomorrow all the people who are performing tomorrow um, all of those people, everyone who helps with setup, everyone who's helping with cleanup, knowing that those people exist and are happy to help yes. is really fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I have to give the shout out to them. Yeah, yeah she's great. Now that being said, I'm sending Kelly home. Yes. To I get some go. sleep. I have to go. Say goodnight to the internet. Good night, internet. I don't want you on the internet when you get home. I want you to go sleep. Say hello to your husband. We've met. Your husband or the internet? The, the internet and I. Do you really think I'm going to go home and go right to bed? No, No, I know. Sweetie. I want you to try. I have to text you and let you know I made it because, I know. Well, you know, that's important. It's one of the rules. Kelly it's knows a law. the rules. It's an important rule. It's a big one. So kind of a big one. Go home. Okay. Tell me that you got home. I'll do that. And try to get some sleep. Oh. Okay. And Absolutely. then I'm going to have Virgin come on. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kelly, come on thank down. you so much.
Thank you. Thank you, and thank you again for tomorrow <laughs> in advance. Thank me tomorrow, and I'll. I don't know if I can thank you tomorrow. You know how I get when right. I haven't slept. I'll try and feed you, and then maybe you'll thank me. Okay. All right. We'll work on that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Bye, baby. Hello. Well, hello, Karen. How are you? I'm well, and may I say that you look lovely <laughs> oh, here on the you. night before. I can't <laughs> wait to compare contrast to tomorrow when well, I've you, had sleep in a shower. You know Meg and Kate. Of course. It's Meg and Kate's job to make me pretty tomorrow. I know that she'll do her level best. I know she will. <laughs> I think I was just insulted, but... <laughs> I knew Megan Kate would She can say, look, I did my best. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> look what I have to work with. <laughs> have you seen what I have to work with? Oh, but for now, very nice. And I like your I like your look, which is, uh, you know, S&M talk show host. It's yeah, very good. That's kind of how It's very I good. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you specifically because you were part of the last 30 hour day as, mm -hmm. as an entertainer. As a performer. That's all I'm good for. And No, that's not true. That's not true at all. They're, you're good for many things. Specifically this time, not only will you be entertaining, and you will be entertained, and you'll like it, or if you don't like it, you'll still be entertained, and you'll have to accept that. You also have helped behind the scenes. You've put together, so uh, mm -hmm. I was talking earlier about the fact that we <clears throat> delegated. There's some delegation. I pawned off work on Morgan, mm -hmm. Morgan Sinkle, to create the entire variety show, mm -hmm. which is phenomenal. And then she decided to further delegate mm -hmm. um, some work to two people, to you and to Frankie Tease. Frankie brings in all the variety, Wonderful. and you brought in all of the funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell us a little about that, and tell us about the... And also, you've written the Pillow Fight segments. You know, I, I wrote some some hilarious titles for the some concepts mm -hmm. for the pillow fight segments. Um, the only thing left to find out is whether there are actual ladies in lingerie. Those are kind of theoretical for me. Mm -hmm. uh, if they happen, fantastic. We've yeah. got some great concept titles for nice. them to work with. Very nice. Um, when I talked to Whitney earlier, there was some cute confusion. It was like Schrodinger's cat. Like, are there or aren't there ladies with lingerie? I don't know, mm -hmm. but uh, I can't wait to find out. Yeah. Very and, nice. Uh, if I'd been told to bring lingerie. She's not wearing any underpants at the moment. Please give money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Oregon Trail chapter or the American Red Cross. <laughs> Donate now. There's people with far greater emergencies than chafing. <laughs> but we don't even want to imagine what those are. I don't want to think about that. No. They do supply underwear for those in need. Yeah. And that's not even a joke. They do. If they your do. house burns down, that's one of the things they help you out with is yeah. underwear. That's the that's the first tier emergency. It is food, water, underwear, soap, toothpaste, mm -hmm. shampoo, underwear, mm -hmm. maybe some cute lacy underwear. I don't know what they have. We can't be sure. We don't know. No. They might yeah. have something. I um so uh, my role was mostly coordinating with comics who yeah. are slippery and um, elusive comedians. and frequently don't know the difference between AM and PM. Whitney and I were discussing that there was an issue with that. There was a little bit of confusion because I said, well, um, I'd like you to come at 2.30. And they said, I don't know if I want to stay up that late. And I'm like, oh, are you a vampire? Because <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> PM and I think it'll be okay. The afternoon. Yeah, the afternoon. But um, I know that Whitney's got a, a lot of like late night bag of tricks for you tonight and then to tomorrow five. we will have fresh mm -hmm. comics who've had sleep and coffee to entertain you in the daytime. That's not true because I happen to know what those lists look like. There's some overlap. Oops. There's some overlap. There's just, I'm saying, there's a few of them that are There might be an overlap. There might be, you know, under nap. But uh, <laughs> what I've done to prepare for tonight's show, uh -huh. for tonight's segment, was uh -huh. I got dressed up, well... I'm doing, um, we're doing a show at Curious Comedy where we're doing cover acts of mm. famous, of our famous, favorite famous, uh, either dead or retired comedians. Wow, so it's like a cover band, but comedy. But comedy, yeah. That's amazing. It, it's kind of awesome. Why am I so impressed by that? I don't well, know. Well, it's like a cover, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's like doing karaoke, like, and really like channeling the, like trying to, to perform through the person that you really admire. Yeah. So obviously I did Bill Hicks because we're both from Texas and love wearing black. You're from Texas? Yeah. And, I'm and from Texas. All the best people are from also, Texas. Also, I love wearing black. I know. It's like we're sisters. Oh, 
But I did Bill Hicks, so I did a little bit. I, I did a little bit of a widow's peak, and then I had like heavy brows. But then I'm like, oh, I've made myself Eddie Munster. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. So I, I took it back a little bit. So I, I got dressed mm -hmm. um, as a boy, mm -hmm. you know, sort of. I did a show. Mm -hmm. I had some. I had well, part of comedy is the drinking. So I have had drinks. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not something I get to do during 30 hour day. That's well, because you're smart and you know that the way to stay awake and lucid is not not to drink, not to not Until to have the last many drinks. Hour, the last yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour. And then relaxation and yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I've actually. And by wine, you mean gin, right? Yes, okay. gin with wine. I wanted wine. to clarify. Let's invent a new 30 hour day <laughs> cocktail. The wine gin. I was gonna like my combination of gin and wine. Ugh. The word. Yeah. Was. Genuine. No, it was just John. He was a rapper. <laughs> and, and that. Don't say that. John. <laughs> no, right? I don't think we can get that past the censors. <laughs> oh, it's the internet. There are no censors. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, know, yeah, right? so I sit before you having had a couple drinks, having done two sets, and, uh, and excited about tomorrow. And then you're going to be tomorrow. here until like 5 o'clock in the morning, and then you're going to be there tomorrow. I'm going to be as fresh as a. Um, Something slightly dry clean fresh. daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> slightly dry cleaned daisy. Didn't know that you could dry clean flowers. You shouldn't. I didn't think you should. I didn't think that was something you should do. I'm glad to know I was right. What kind of things do you do pre to prepare for knowing that you're going to be doing a 30 hour day? Um, hmm. Well. Is there air extra dry? Uh, do you have any sort of special insoles? I know. I, I, these are. I have. A, I wore these when I went to South by Southwest in Austin and had to do a lot of walking, so I have some gel soles in there. Nice. But actually, you're gelling these, like Magellan. These I don't normally wear. Normally, I'm wearing the five-inch uh, uh, sling back peep right. toes. Those can make you want to die. Yeah. On a thirty-hour day. I've worn them for most of the most of the show, though, and that was okay. I had to take them off for the swing dance lessons because I'm smart. Yes. Yes. Um, no, so I was told that the night, not the night before the event, but the night before that is actually the most important. Mm. So I was made to go to bed early that night. Mm -hmm. And then in theory, I was made to go to bed early last night. And um, I am absolutely honest when I tell you that at 9.55, I said, I'm not working after 10 o'clock. And that at 10 o'clock, I stopped working on anything 30-hour day related for half an hour. Oh, my. Before uh, things blew up and I had to go and do more work. And then I quit. I quit working on stuff again for another 25 minutes. <laughs> Eventually, I did go to sleep. Small victories. Yeah. I, I mean, I was asleep by midnight-ish, which is early That's for me. That's reasonable. That's and then I slept in until 8 today. After I woke up at 2, 4, and 6. Hmm. So what I did to prepare was really nothing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I ate lunch. Good for you. Yeah, that, and uh, Megan, did I do anything else? Megan, hey Ed, could oh. you come back, please? My I was Ed just creepily watching. My oh. Ed, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, Megan. Hi, Regina. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, in my Ed? I'm I'm well. I just um, <clears throat> I just set out all of Rick's clothing for tomorrow. Thank Very you. Good. You're welcome. I can't. Yeah, we can't trust him to do that himself. I, I took care of that. it, internet. TCOB. <laughs> That's what I do all day long. What I what else did we do? Well, we coordinated your clothing last week. We no, we did not do that. You did that. There was a spreadsheet involved. There was a spreadsheet. There is a spreadsheet for my clothing. She has it on her iPhone. I have. I also have photos of every outfit, so I know exactly what she's supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah. She's pretty serious about this. She takes nice. this very seriously. What Very else good. did we do to prepare? <clears throat> it's a lot of emailing, a yes. lot of Twitter DMs. Yes. Um, a lot of that means dungeon friend, masters. A lot of yes. Mm -hmm. there was Twitter dungeon, dungeon masters. A lot of dungeon masters. There's been a lot of uh, D and D <clears throat> going on. <laughs> a lot of um, uh, debate about hair up or hair down. Sure. That is true. There is a lot of debate about that. <sighs> it's a hot button topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I. Had uh, a lot of uh, uh, night terrors mm. to prepare. Um, it's a lot of nightmares that I forgot something. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Like a mirror. <clears throat> right. Exactly. Like, the, did you have the one where, like, you wake up and look at the uh, look at the the scene and Cammy's on camera, but she has no pants on. She has no clothing. Yeah. Exactly. It's weeping. it's like the opposite of like the high school where you're naked and you've forgotten a test. Right. You've forgotten to dress Cammy. Uh, I forgot to put clothes on Cammy. Like yeah. she's incapable of dressing right. herself, yeah. and I've done it. I've ruined everything. <laughs> And then I break wow. the internet somehow. That yeah. always happens in my dreams. 
I'm naked and you break the internet. I, you're naked <laughs> and I broke the internet. I think that that's that, gonna be the name of my memoir. <laughs> you're naked and I broke, <laughs> I broke the, internet. the internet. The name of my memoir is gonna be. I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> yeah, that would be appropriate for my memoir as well. Or, I only did it because it was funny. I thought. <laughs> I have another one that's gonna be uh, lies your boyfriend told me. Mm. Ooh, lies Kate's your story. boyfriend told me. Nice. The Megan Kate story. Yeah. See, when you said it, my brain just fixed it and went lies my boyfriend told no, me, and right then I no. realized no, no, it was yeah. lies your boyfriend yeah. told me. How about wow. um, she was always nice to cafeteria ladies, the Virginia Jones saga. <laughs> Are you always nice to I cafeteria am. ladies? I always am. Is there any other group of people you're always nice to? I'm a heavy, heavy uh, barista tipper. I am also. I was. I used to be a barista. So you always have that in your blood. So I, I always heavily tip the baristas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm nice to anybody on roller skates. That's a good. Interesting. Ad. Can't be easy. Interesting. Can you not roller skate? No. Can, do, would you like to go roller skating with me? God no. Please. If you do Please. learn how to roller skate, I have advice. You should do it now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I have a spouse who started learning how to roller skate when he was 40. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason that people learn when they're young and pliable. Yes. yes. And have protective tissues that still work. Because yes. he, um, he's gone roller skating four times and he still grabs his elbow and grimaces whenever there's rain coming. Yeah. It's not yeah. good. It's not My ligaments are still... Nice and stretchy. Exactly. Megan oh, you could. Oh, Megan honey, Kate. you could recover. This is the thing. This is the thing that you have to understand. Mm -hmm. I love roller skating. Okay. okay. You know who else loves roller skating? You know the short person that I live with that you like so much. <gasps> the wee one. Oh yeah, the wee one. <sighs> She's a roller skating fool. <gasps> and I love her. Yeah. She that plus you. Oaks Car Park sounds like a good time. Yeah, we can live near Oaks right. Park. I just yeah, I don't what like if, things with wheels. What if the wee one taught me to roller skate? What if it was her? What if her little eight-year-old self taught you to roller skate, Megan Kate? Okay, I'd All right. I think it's like swimming. I think if you get a baby on skates early enough, they just intrinsically know yeah. how to do yeah, it. I like so. in diapers. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen some kids in diapers roller skating. I would be wearing diapers. <laughs> No, you can roller skate to the bathroom. I, no, I will be wearing diapers. You can roller skate time. to the bathroom. It's yeah. the most wonderful thing ever. You can roller skate to the bathroom, and you can also roller skate to the snack bar, and roller skate to your table with your food. And roller skate to the do. arcade. Mm -hmm. And to the arcade. I can see you've done some roller skating at Oaks Park. Perhaps if we do 30 Hour Day 3, it could be that could be a segment. Rent. Mm. Megan, Kate, learning. Okay. Write that down. DM it to yourself. <laughs> I've, I've got to tell you guys, there's four minutes left to my show, and I'm afraid that I need my 30-hour day co-host who's hiding in a cubicle somewhere. All right. Uh, um, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Oh, he just popped his head up just like a, yeah. like so a, just like a ground squirrel or a hamster. Yeah, you take right that here. off. Is he gonna come sit here? He's he's gonna come and sit. We're we're gonna boot you in Virginia off okay. the stage. Virginia, there, Virginia, and we're gonna wrap up. Great to see you, live. sweetheart. So good to see you. I'll see, see you tomorrow. You. No, I'll see. Aren't you here tonight? Oh, thanks. Oh, oh. it is tomorrow. It tomorrow, is. yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Exactly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have fun. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Can I have a seat? I still have gum. We'll just don't chew it then. All right, I won't. Okay. One of Hello. the biggest difficulties that we faced during Thirty Hour Day last time was the fact that people like to chew gum. I'm not chewing it right now. I'm just tucking it in my cheek. People like to have gum in their mouth. On camera. Hi, folks. Myself included. So we're, we're, we are, oh, okay. So we are seven hours, unless yeah. my mouth is wrong, we are seven hours into 30 hour day. Two. No, we've only got a day left. Seven hours into yeah. 30 hour day right. two. So we got it's about 11 o'clock. We've got 23 hours. Yeah, left. 23 hours left. Wait, hold on. I can do math. We've got 23 hours, two minutes, and three seconds. Did the iPhone app tell you that? My iPhone app told me that. Go download the 30 hour day iPhone app. Yeah. Do Hi, Cammie. How you doing? I'm just wondering how you think it's going so far. I think it's going pretty well. We could use some more donations, quite frankly. Not we to could. totally. Could like, you please donate? 30hourday.org, 30hourday.org. You can all go. The, yeah, all the donations right now are going to Red to Cross. The, to the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. That's right. I've learned how to say that. Very well done. They, they actually go to the American Red Cross, the national thing. Oh, they that's, go to the that's what okay. Oregon pushes okay. for. So if you're anywhere in the U.S. or 
have ever been helped by the American Red Cross in any way, shape, or form, this would be a great way to donate. It would be. To them. And now, I'm at this point, I'm kind of wondering if we have the attention of our lovely producer, Christine. She's doing some camera -y stuff. Because we're about, to, <laughs> we're about to end Strange of Live and have a few minute break so we can set up for the next segment. For zombie stuff? Are we going to be okay with that? Uh, <laughs> zo zombies? To be honest, we're not sure. I'm sure she's got something that she can run. She's got one of the beautiful spinners that she created, or an intro that still hasn't been played, or a 10 minute recap of last year's Strange of Live. I'm sure she has something that she can play something while in we box set up. Of tricks. Right, Christine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got, got oh. something. We got a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. We got That's a thumbs awesome. up because we're gonna have to cut for a minute so that we can go and set up for the next segment because there That's is a tough. next segment. So while you're waiting, you can go donate. While you're waiting, please go donate at Causes. Or go buy go buy some Gadget Track. Or go buy some Gadget Track. Or or wait for the mm -hmm. zombie guys to come on and buy one of their T-shirts. Well, we, you don't even have to wait for them to come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go in advance. Get We're your about to have before the segment. The zombie Where guys. We're about to have the Last Stand come on. We're gonna watch the Last Stand series one all put together. We're gonna talk with Martin. We're gonna talk with Rachel. We're gonna talk with the actors and some of the crew. And we're going to watch. I don't know how we're gonna watch it though. I, I'm we'll a little, have to watch I'm it. I'm suddenly you guys get to watch it. I'm suddenly a little concerned because I thought I was gonna get to watch it too. We'll figure it out. We have the technology. We can. We can just it watch happen. it on a laptop. Yeah, it'll work. One way or the other. All right, so I'm going to say goodnight from Strange of Live from 30 Hour Day. I hope that you guys are all donating.